So you have a GitHub account and a new project, but you don't know how to upload and you don't know how to make it public to the whole world. You want to show your project to everyone with a single access to a link. So if you want this, I'm going to show you the absolute easiest way to publish it as a live public website for free using nothing but your browser. So let's get this done. So basically you need two things to do this. The first one is your GitHub account, a uh, account that you have already signed up. And the second thing is you need is a project. So what you have to do here is just these steps. So first of all, go to your project file. So it's necessary that your main file, the HTML file must be named as index.html. It's a requirement. So uh, other name won't suffice. It will only work if this name is index.html. So it must be this. The second thing you need is your GitHub account as I told you. So first go to your GitHub, type here GitHub and press enter. So once you press enter, you go to your account. If you haven't already signed up, you can just easily sign up and if you have any difficulty for that, you can just comment me down there. So I will make another video on it. So we are into the GitHub account. This is my account. So the first thing you have to do is just create here new. So once you create a new, it will just ask for a repository name. Let me just name my repository, my first live project. You can name it anything you want. It won't matter. It's just a name. So the next thing you want to do is just scroll down and you can see there are two options here. One says public, another says private. So you make sure that the public is marked because it's important. You want to show the world that you have a project. You just don't want to keep it yourself. So the next thing we want to do is just scroll down again and you can see there is an add readme file. You can just click on it. It's a thing uh, where you can add description for your files. So just scroll down. And you can see there are other two options add dot get ignore and another choose a license. So these two options are not of your concern right now. Just click on create repository. So once you click on create repository, it will just load up and create your repository with the name my first life project. So basically what you have to do here, you have to just upload your project files here. So in the next step, what you have to do here is just click on this add file and click on upload files. So the next thing you have to do is just click on this choose your files. So once you click on this choose your files option, you have an option to select your project files uh, from the D directory or C directory. You may choose it where you have stored it. So I have stored it in the D directory and my project name is web design agency project. Uh, as you can see, I have all the files here. I've already chosen it here. So one thing is very important here. So basically you can't just select any folders and insert it into GitHub. You just can't select this assets. Okay, so as you can see, I have already emptied assets and just stored my everything images and everything into the main file into the main directory here. So make sure that you don't have a folder here, just all the files laid down in the main directory and just choose this. And don't worry if you necessarily need to have a folder here, because in just a minute, I will just show you uh, that way also where you can just uh, add the folder to the GitHub profile. So first let's focus on the files. So basically just choose all the files we have and just click on open. And once you click on open, it will just load up the file one by one. As you can see, there's a loading process and okay, the files have been uploaded. So once the file has been uploaded, there is an option here that says to write a message here. You can just write any message here. I will just typically write that. And in the description, you can add. Add it. HTML and CSS. You can write anything you want. Just make sure it means to something because uh, this is a good practice to, you know, uh, make good messages and descriptions in GitHub commits. So after writing the description and the message, just click here and commit changes. So once you hit the commit changes option, it will just load up and your file will be displayed here. All the files you have added. So now for the main part, the live server part, what you have to do here, just go to settings. Just go to pages here and below the branch option, there is an option called none. So just click here and set it to main. So once you set it to main, just click on save. So once you hit save, just wait for some seconds and refresh the site one or two times and the link will pop up here. If it doesn't pop up at first, just wait for a second and it will just come in. Just refresh it multiple times. As you can see, after two or three refreshes, we have an, another option here. This is our site. This is the main objective of this project. So let's visit the site. As you can see, once we click on the visit site or the link, it will just redirect it to our website, the one we created. And you can see there's this link. This link is what GitHub has provided us. It's a basic host link. It's a free link. You don't have to pay anything for it. 
so basically this uh, link is shareable you can share it to your friends and or anyone and you can just uh, let them enjoy your project you have made so uh, i hope you get it so you don't have to click visit site multiple times here you can just you know copy this and copy link address and you can just you know just go to chrome and just paste once you paste the site will be active again so as you can see it's pretty easy and very impressive so next what happens when your project gets bigger or when you're making changes every single day dragging and dropping files constantly can get slow and messy that's when professionals use the command line with git it lets you update a massive project with just two or three simple commands it's the faster more powerful way to manage your code that pro method is a topic for the next video if you want a tutorial on how to manage and upload bigger projects using git let me know in the comments below and make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss it also like the video if it did help you and thank you for watching